Yeah, China will buy 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 China You know what I'm saying? Subscribe, share this video, circulate it to a lot of people as many as you can. Let's get started. So now they say here, a cylindrical or wire of radius. So we, so first and foremost, if it's me, I'm gonna say cylindrical wire. So wire is like this. This is something like cylinder. So let's see how this wire here. Let's see, this is a rough diagram. I say this cylindrical wire. Cylindrical wire, uh, radius. So we have a radius of this. Oh, so let's write all our data. So radius here, radius we got. What is the radius? 2.00 millimeter. So we're gonna have to change that millimeter to meter. So how we change millimeter to meter? Means I'm gonna say these two are multiplied by 10 power negative three. So radius we have it already. Now carry the current of two all. So we have a current. Our current is 2.5 ampere. The potential difference between the planes of the wire that are 4.6 meter. So this is a difference. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Separation. The distance of separation, which will represent by using letter D, length of separation, distance separation, 4.6 meter. And then a pi is so the potential difference. You know, so the potential difference is 3.7 volt. Oh, so potential difference V. V equal to. 3.71 volt. So that's our potential difference. Okay, when the distance separation is 4.6 meters. Now, they want you to find the electric field. It's very, very easy. So to get electric field, there's a lot of formula that you can use to get the electric field. Okay, now I'm going to show you all of them how we get the electric field. Okay, now we go. So electric field can be obtained by using various formula. So electric field always equal to, you can take potential difference divided by the length or distance of separation. Or you could say also electric field, not potential difference, I'm sorry, is electric field equal to PD, potential over distance separation. But sometimes you can say equal to force over quantity of charge, which is passing through the, those two uh, between the separation, I mean the certain distance of the separation. But for this case, we're not dealing with the force. Okay, we deal with the electricity. So I'm not gonna use this because there's nothing has to do with the force here. So I'd rather use electric field equal to V over D. We have a V, our V equal to 3.7, and our distance separation we have, which equal to 4.6. So I'm not gonna use this. So I'll say, oh, you, I don't need you here. I don't need you here. But also it's one of the definitions of electric field. So my electric field for this case equal to what is your PD? Our PD we have equal to 3.7 volt distance separation on that PD equal to 4.6. 4.6 or 46? Let's see again. 4.6. Let me check in the question just to make sure. Okay, the distance separation is 46 meter. My apologies, it's 46 meter. It's not 4.6, it's 46. So this separation is 46. So it's what is 46, which is gonna be one meter. So if you plug in the calculator, that's gonna give you, plug in the calculator, so 3.7 divided by 46. 3.7 divided by 46. And that's gonna give us 0 0.08. Oh. So this gonna be 0 0.08 electric field is volt over meter volt over distance which is meter but uh, sometimes we could say if it was for the first one which is force over quantity we could say neutron per coulomb neutron is a unit of force and quantity is coulomb so this could be eight of this unit but for now i'm not dealing with the force so i just really rather leave what voltage over distance meter so we have electric field so for this this is the first part let me this on here okay now for the second part, okay, they want you to find oh B, so this could be A. Let's say this is A. That's gonna make a lot of sense. So for B is easy. 
they say the resistivity of material. So we want to get the resistivity. Resistivity of material from the definition equal to the resistance times the cross section area over the length of separation or the length of a wire. Okay? Do you have a resistance? No, we don't have a resistance. Do you have a cross section area? Yes, we can get it. How can you get it? Because I have a radius. I have a radius so I can get a cross section area. Length? Oh, yes, we have a length. Length is the distance of a part. So this one here can be obtained. This can be obtained by the problem is what is? Uh, resistance okay now uh, let's get all of them so that we know what we have what we don't have okay so now we're gonna say uh, a procession area but you can say here but procession area remember the area of this one this surface here which go to pi r square that's procession area of it wire pi r square so we will say this equal to pi what is a pi pi is just 3.14 or you can just plug in the pi, but pi 3.14. What is the radius? Radius given 2 times 10 power negative 3. 2 times 10 power negative 3. But remember you have to square because R is square. So our procession area, we can get. We can see that one. Or if you want, you can plug in calculator to get your procession area. Now resistance. How are you going to get resistance? I can get resistance using this formula here because I have electric field, okay? So I want to get the look, I'm going to recall this and get uh, the resistance. <coughs> so the problem is now is the resistance. So I'm going to come here in electric field. I'll say electric field, which I know I have, equal to V, look, V over D, or distance separation. So this one I have, and the distance I have. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say, I'm going to multiply uh, these two. So I'll say, okay, so V equal to E times D. So, uh, electric field I have, this is separation I have, which is 46. Okay, but this one meaning, look, if I have replaced from the Ohm's law, from the Ohm's law, from the Ohm's law, from Ohm's law, we know V equal to I times R. Oh, so if I replace this, I'll say equal to I times the uh, current time the resistance equal to E times the distance separation. So I want to get R so I can finish all my business. So I'm going to divide by current, I'll divide by current. So this and this cancel. So my resistance equal to, okay? So I can plug that up. So plug that in. I have my E. What is my E? My E equal to 0 0.08 times. This is separation is 46. 46 and over. Current, current to have. What is my current? Current equal to 2.5. So this is going to give me my resistance. So what is my resistance? I plug in a calculator quick. 8 times 46. And then divide by 2.5. Okay, so this is going to give me 1.48. Oh, so my resistance equal to 1.48. So for that case now, and the unit of resistance is? Oh. So for that case now, I can get my resistivity, my resistivity equal to resistance which I have multiplied by precession area I have over length 4 by 6. So let's get it now. So I'm going to say finally, uh, the space is not enough. So I can just erase here and finish up for the last part. So just erase here because I don't need this anymore. Okay, so erase here. Thank you for your patience. Okay, thank you. Let's go. So now I'm gonna say that my resistivity equal to resistance. So resistance we have 1.48 times times my cross section area. Cross section area equal to down 3.14, 3.14 times 2 times 10 power negative 3 and then all this square and then we over we over we over by the length our length equals 46 okay divide by so 46 and this is going to give us our resistivity take my calculator quick okay so we multiply by 3.14 multiply by bracket 2 times 10 negative 3 and then come here close the bracket square and then get an answer divided by 46. 
Okay, so we get 4.04. Oh, okay. So finally, matrix sensitivity equal to 4.04 times 10, 10, negative 7. And the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of man. And you know, I felt like it was easy, like, <laughs> like we was a time. Easy, man. That's how it goes. So if you're new, make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comments. I'll be more than happy to respond to your comments and share this video to a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? So we can share all this excellence. Thanks a lot. And I'm out. Peace. It's just a waste of time. Are you doing this question? It is easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and, you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time, you know. Subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people, you know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can, okay? It's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page, go to our uh, GoFundMe, because we need to have a you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my students of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to work by I'm trying to work by I'm trying to work by just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's great level, man. So his aim is to score decision, right? So you promise, I want you to score decision this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction? <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to work by just everywhere, man. I'm trying to work by you. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to work by you everywhere. Everywhere. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, which advice would you give uh, to the people? Trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, and I redid first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy.